tonight on First Time Buyers Club. It's been a lifelong dream to own a house. But once I got into it, it brought me down. And I would love to have a house by my birthday. Welcome to what could be your dream home. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is amazing. Got a dishwasher that I wanted. There you go. Hey, washing dishes. Are you starting to picture yourself here? This one feels more like home. It's fit for the whole family. Welcome to the Sunshine State. What more can you ask for? I'm Amina Stevens, a dedicated realtor in Tampa Bay. Honestly, this is my favorite part. I do have some information I'm gonna go over with you today. As a former educator, I've made it my mission to help first-time home buyers navigate the challenging path to home ownership. I went through a hardship, I'm not gonna lie to you. It doesn't matter if you don't have the biggest budget or the best credit score. Let's make it happen, yeah. okay? Let's do it. There's a path for everyone to become a homeowner. I can't wait, can we just go in? Yes, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Oh, wow. I love it. From negotiating deals to uncovering hidden gems in the market, I'm more than just a realtor. Bring me a little magic. I'm your trusted partner, <laughs> confidant, and your guide. You can literally change your entire community, which ultimately changes the world, to the First Time Buyers Club. So I'm on my way to meet my client, Loretta, for the first time. She is not what you would consider your average first time home buyer. She is 57 years old and she's planning for retirement. But a part of that retirement plan is that she is ready to get into her own home. Over the years, she has moved around a lot. She has housed family members. And now it's finally time for Loretta to leave the nest and get her own place. Hey, Loretta. Hi, how you doing? Good, nice to see you. Oh, same here. I'm excited, I'm ready to get started. Tell me, you know, why you want to buy in the first place. It's been a lifelong dream to own a house. I just never had the funds, and it's just the time wasn't right. But my time is now. I'm getting ready to retire, and I won't be traveling from city to city, state to state. I have somewhere to put my roots down and have my own place, and I don't have to move anymore. I have been working for the Department of Corrections for 17 years. Every four to five years, I move to a different city, to a different prison. So once I retire, I can set my roots down. Is there anything that you feel like you can't do in your apartment that you would love to do in a house? I walk around and sit down somewhere where there's no one else. So how many people are living in your house right now? 50. <laughs> <laughs> 57, 50, 11. It's very tight in there. My daughter and her four kids, we've been living in my apartment for about a year now. And then my son comes. Sometimes he'll bring his friend with him. And it's puppy. It's rough. <laughs> it's rough. That's all I can say. It's rough and it's tiresome. And it's time for me to move on. My birthday is only a few weeks away. And I would love to have a house by my birthday. The grandbabies can come, but they got to go back home. <laughs> so it sounds like in your situation, maybe you don't want a super big house. Because the bigger the house, right, the more opportunities are. Everybody's going, oh, I gotta stop by. It's a big mm -hmm. sign on the door. Sorry. <laughs> no vacancies. <laughs> I'm trying to sit. My landlord will let my daughter keep that apartment. Okay. So I, I don't have to bring her. Here is the process at a glance, okay? So a lot of times, first-time home buyers feel like they're like conspiracy theories to keep all the secrets of homeownership away from them. So I like to educate them and let them know exactly where they're at in the process and what steps we need to take to get them to their keys. Sometimes buyers are afraid to really open up and share all their dreams of home ownership because they think that it's not possible. Once they know that I care, we now are the dream team to help them get into their first home. We're in the, the kind of like what is the hardest stage for most people, which is the pre-approved stage, okay? Yeah. I know you've been talking to some loan officers and what did you request? I requested three, 350, 350 because I went out and I looked at a lot houses. of homes and stuff and I got prices for everything. So Eventually. you initially asked for 350 and, and what did they say? And he was like, 170 to 240. Yeah. The good news is that I, I did speak to one of the loan officers that I sent, mm -hmm. and they were able to say a lot of down payment assistance, mm -hmm. a lot of different specialty programs. So there are a lot of special loan programs out there for first time home buyers. Some of them provide down payment assistance, some of them require no down payment at all. There are so many different options that can help make homeownership more affordable, and they're all tied to you as a buyer. So in Loretta's circumstance, I was able to find a program. It didn't require a down payment. It had a lower interest rate. So if Loretta gets qualified for this portfolio loan program that I found for her, she may be able to increase her purchasing power and it will get her qualified for a much better home. So Loretta, I'm usually the one that comes with the paperwork. What is in there? <laughs> My paperwork is all of the homes that I went through and I wow. looked at. At the beginning of going out and looking for these houses, my dreams were really big. But once I got into it, 
and I got to see steps by steps and the things that I need to take. It brought me down. It's kind of, yeah. But talking to you, my dreams are coming back up. So oh. it's um, kind of overwhelming, but I'm learning a lot. Honestly, I'm super impressed that you did all this homework. I actually got a little emotional because I was like, this is somebody that really wants a house. So the next step would be searching for homes. Tell me a little bit about what you want in a home. I want a three bedroom. How many bathrooms? Two. A place for my uh, wash and dryer, dishwasher, and an outside patio. What would you say is a need? Because you know what happens is that I love for everybody to tell me exactly what they want, but there's wants and there's, and there's needs. needs. So I need a dishwasher. OK. <laughs> you know, I just started using a dishwasher this year. Really? Because I grew up being told that we don't yeah. use a dishwasher. Yeah, wash them. And I thought that you had to wash them. I just thought, you know, honestly, I was just like, black people don't use dishwashers. I mean, don't use it. That's what I thought. Oh, OK. But then my mama said, no, it was because our dishwasher was broke. Oh. <laughs> we can probably use a dishwasher. <laughs> and is there anything else when you think about your home? I grew up in a project. OK. I grew up, I, I don't want to buy a house in a bad neighborhood. I okay. want a nice neighborhood. OK. You know, as we explore the process, we'll look and see what neighborhoods you prefer. So yeah. you get there and you have that feeling like, I can live here or I can't live here. It's like and buying a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Oh, don't jump in on Batman. Yes, exactly. Okay. And once we purchase this house, it's going to be one of the best feelings of my life. Do you already kind of feel it? I feel it. He says it? I feel it. I feel it coming on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel it coming on. <laughs>
Welcome in. Oh, wow. This house is amazing. Yes, yeah, so this is a brand new home. It's a three bedroom, two bath, a large backyard. And as you can wow. see, many beautiful finishes. There it is. Yes, yes. There you go, a brand new yes. one. It's not used. It's, it's glistening for a queen. Sparkly. Oh, wow. My king's out there to fit in here perfect. Wow, it's roomy. Now this is a walk-in closet. You some dancing in here. I know. Yeah. Hey, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I love the shower. It's got a double sink. Double sink. And the same counters as in the kitchen. So, wow. so far. So far. So far, so good. You got a nice view of the backyard. It's a, a nice very nice yard. lot where you don't have to worry about looking into someone's backyard. You can just look into your own okay. and the nature and peace and quiet. Yes. Wow. It's got a front view. I didn't think it was as much traffic when we pulled up the first time. Yeah. But as the day go by, I see a lot. It's definitely something to consider, you know? Yeah. Think about your grandkids. Okay. You know, it is a little bit of a, potentially a safety hazard to be yes. right on the main road, so. Consideration. It's consideration. <laughs> Since my grandkids are coming with me, I want to provide the safest environment for them. I love the house. The neighborhood is nice, but the traffic is dangerous. But I need a better lot. How does this play out with you know, what's going on in your life, you know, like your 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 grandkids, your daughter. It's, you know, because she lost the job because me going in the hospital and coming out. So continue to take care of them until she can get up on her feet. I got a little choked up. <laughs> I got a little you know? choked up. It's just that. Um, you gonna choke me up. I know. <laughs> I want to see if we can get you a brand new home, right, in this region. <laughs> but maybe not off of the main road. Location is important, not just the area, it the is. city, the town, but where it's at in the community. Mm -hmm. So do you trust me to just, just for a little bit to go see if I can find it? I trust you with all my heart. <laughs> all my heart. Did you just propose to me? I did if you could find me a house. <laughs> Now that Loretta sees how big of a house she can get in Marion County, she's on board with the location, just not so close to a main road. It makes sense that Loretta's thinking about her family and their safety. This next house is in the same area, so it qualifies for the assistance programs, and it's set back further from the road. Well, come on hey, over. Hey. So this may look familiar. Yes, yes. Because we are at the exact same model, exact same price, exact same square footage, but it's on a lot with a lot more land. Okay. So I want to know what you think, OK? It's great. It's not so much traffic, safe for the kids. You know, kids want to get no traffic or anything. This is the perfect spot. Welcome to what could be your dream home. Welcome in. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. We are at the exact same model, but it's on a lot with a lot more land. Welcome in. Oh, wow. Yes. You get the same butterflies that you felt? Yes. Oh, yes. So everything that you love about the original floor plan is still here. Mm -hmm. You have the main bedroom on this side. You have everybody else on that side. This is the same exact house of the model, switched around. <laughs> What's on the left is on the right over here. It's, it's, it's just what I wanted. You have this bedroom, and it faces the yard. Yes. So whoever gets this bedroom gets a great view. Uh, no, that's right. Who do you think it would be? My daughter. She's going to take it. This room is much larger than the room that she's in. Really? In the apartment. Oh, yeah. Much larger. So they're, they're crammed in there. Crammed in there. So she got a little room to work with there now. There we go, there we go. All right, then we have the hall bathroom. OK. So they don't have to come over there. And they can stay over here. Exactly. That's and nice. then last but not least, we have the, the third bedroom. Room for the babies. Room for the babies. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, at the apartment, they don't have their room. They were all sleeping in the room with their mom. Mm -hmm. oh, five of them in one room. Or they spread in the couch, spread over here, spread in my room. They're going to be excited to know that this is their room. And I'm going to ask them, this is your room. How do you want to decorate oh. your room? This is your room. OK. That's amazing that you're able to provide that. And the great thing about this, we won't be all on top of each other. No there you go. Yeah, that first house was just too small for you and your family. And the second one was way too close to traffic. So now, you know, to the focal point of the home is the huge backyard. 
Is all of this my backyard? It's all yours. All of this? Wow. wow. Look at this. Yes. This is amazing. All this yard for them to play all in. Is. If you were over there, I wouldn't even be able to see you. I'd be like, right is that you? <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> Hey, Marco Polo in this yard. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, I mean, I could see so much out here. Your kids, barbecues. Oh, Did you invite yes. your favorite realtor, too? Of course, of course. I can, I can see so much life out here. I know it. Well, go That's explore it. Wow. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> wow, still walking, still walking. What more can you ask for? Exactly. <laughs> see, it's all for season, and it's time. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> she was right. I put my trust to her, and she was right. This is like a mansion. <laughs> There's so much possibility. I definitely can see holidays here, family dinners. Yes. This one feels more like home. Really? This one feels more like home. It's fit for the whole family. That yard is amazing. Yeah. That's hours and hours them kids could spend out there. And I'm ready to put that offer in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's make Let's this happen. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is happening way faster than I expected, and I, now I found my forever home. So the time has come to submit an offer on Loretta's first home. I am super excited to submit an offer on this home because it qualifies perfectly for the loan program that I matched her with in Marion County. So we're gonna come in strong at the asking price of $259,000. The structure of this offer means that Loretta's gonna bring no money to the closing table, and her monthly payment is going to be a lot less than expected. I submitted Loretta's offer two days ago and just heard back from the listing agent. So I've asked Loretta to meet me so I can give her the news in person. Hey, Loretta. Hi. How you doing? Ooh. So I got a call from the listing agent. So right. there are other people that came by this weekend that were interested in it. I am very nervous. I don't want nobody to know how I'm really feeling inside. I'm hoping and praying she's going to tell me that I have the house and everything is great. But then there's always a possibility that it might hit a snag. Hi, right, Loretta. I got a call from the listing agent. There are other people that came by this weekend that were interested in it. And she let me know that they accepted your offer as is. Oh, okay. And this house is yours. All right. And we're going to close on November 3rd. So that is only a few days before your birthday. And just in time, what a great birthday gift. I am pumped. I am pumped. I am pumped. <laughs> I feel like superwoman that I'm able to get this home with enough room for the family where everybody can live comfortable. I feel really good about it. It took a long time. I've waited many years for this. Because you're going to be moving so far from, you know, your current home, does it feel a bit comforting that you're going to bring your family with you? Yes, but I'm looking for that day that she'll go on. <laughs> so spread her wings apart. You know what we're going to do? We're going to sell her house. We're going to sell her another house in Mary County. Yeah, sell her yeah. house back in Tampa. No. <laughs> you know what? I'm not, I'm just Understood. Not Noted. <laughs> now our next step okay. will be able to do a walkthrough with the builder, make sure everything is up to your standards, and then we're going to have a, a closing celebration. Oh, yes. Big party. There we go. Big celebration. I'm ready to get you to those keys. Uh, I'm ready to get those keys. <laughs> yeah. Loretta, it's closing day. Yes, I'm so pumped. So in the beginning, when we met, you know, you impressed me with how much you studied and how hard you worked to become a homeowner. So I yes. thought it would only be right if I awarded you with your official Homes by Amina homeowner certificate. Oh, wow. And welcome to the First Time Buyers Club. Oh, thank you. And you're hereby officially a homeowner. Oh, yes. Congratulations. This is my house. This is my home. Ah, welcome home. It's been a long time and a long time searching and beating the pavement, trying to find one. But I finally did it. You gonna sit down? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a room fit for a queen. I that know, but queen. you and Prince, the queen and Prince. So that's all right. Thank you. We have cake to celebrate. Do the honors. 
Okay. This is the best birthday present ever. <laughs> the best one I had in a long time. Oh! Loretta's the kind of buyer that gives me hope because she never gave up hope. Her journey started long before she ever met me. Come on, let's go check out this backyard. I work with first time home buyers every day, but it's rare to find one as motivated as Loretta was. You wanna play too? <laughs> <laughs> she was so optimistic about home ownership despite all the roadblocks she's experienced. With that fire and with that spirit, I was able to educate Loretta on every step of the process and finally lead her to the keys to her dream home in Marion County. Read it! Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Loretta, good job.